welcome this is the object oriented system analysis and design video series in this video i'm going to talk about collaboration diagrams which are the diagrams which we use to demonstrate simplified modeling language in a different way so in this video i'm going to show the show what is the collaboration diagram and the notations that we use in those diagrams as well as uh, real time application of this uh, collaboration diagrams of a certain user scenario so let's start with the collaboration diagrams uh, first what is a collaboration diagram so collaboration diagram is an uh, illustration of a relationship and inter interaction among software objects in the unified modeling language so those diagrams can be used to uh, portray the dynamic behavior of a particular use case and define the role of each object and in this situation those collaboration diagrams are very useful to understand some complex situations or complex scenarios so let's move on to the basic steps that we can use to create collaboration diagram so first we have to determine the design elements and require the for the required diagram and we have to make the all messages passing messages and relationships between those objects and all the things and we can build the model to like that team which is a very simple step and we can add the certain messages that passing between those objects by adding some notations so those things will be explained in the further example in the end of the video and so this will be created to clearly how the process is going on with the each other each object within each other objects so that is the basic principles of this collaboration diagrams so basic components of this collaboration diagrams are objects actors links and messages so objects are the shown uh, rectangles we, we are representing them in a rectangle and with naming labels inside we give a name for that object as well and the naming label follows the convenient convenience of object name and that is the whole object thing and the actors actors are the persons or the people or anything like that who are interacting with the application or the system and the links links are the lines which are connecting those objects and representing the relationship between those objects between each other and the messages messages are the responses or the requests that are receiving from object to object and they are the representation representing those messages through that notations so that is the basic com components there are another components which are uh, not important that much but most of the time those uh, four components only use in those collaboration diagrams and next we have some uh, diagram notations or the symbols of this collaboration diagram and we can see these are the object object and we can uh, draw like this way like for the multi objects we can create multiple objects in the same thing like that and we can delegation to object object and this is an actor notation of actor and so boundary entity control likewise so this is the way of showing a loop and call message flat message return message all the notations so these are the simple notations which is using mostly in those collaboration diagrams and next we have places the places to use these collaboration diagrams so there are many places that we can use those collaboration diagram because we can easily understand the situation or the scenario by drawing this collaboration diagram. So first we can see uh, to model collaboration among the objects roles that carry the uh, functionality of the use case and uh, operations. So that is the first one that we can use these collaboration diagrams and to model the mechanism inside the architectural design of the system. So that is the next one. and to capture the interactions that represent the flow of messages between the objects and the roles inside the collaboration we can simply show the messages and the flow between those objects and lastly the to model different scenarios within a use case or operation involving a collaboration or several objects and interactions so that is also a use case that we can use this collaboration diagrams and that is for the all collaboration diagrams basic explanation and now I'm going to show the real-time application of this collaboration diagram so I am creating a collaboration diagram for a given user scenario which is a online food delivering system so now I'm going to show the collaboration diagram which I have drawn so this is the collaboration diagram or the communication diagram we can call the collaboration di diagram as the 
communication diagram as well so this is the diagram which i have drawn this is uh, the tool i have used is the visual paradigm and so this is the basic design in here first this is the delivering application and these are the actors for the first one is user and the admin we have to create a delivering system so order delivery category food items and payments those are the objects that i have already created in this situation those are the necessary ones but we can add furthermore or we can reduce those into for anything we want but those are the things I have selected first and we can by when we see at the user section we can search foods food so the product and we can place an order of a product that we want so when we send this message into the application it will select for food item we can select uh, or the search food items through different ways by category we can categorize the foods by any category that we want like unless we can search the food item without any category we can food, uh, search them commonly so likewise after that we search the product and we can take the detail, details of the product then after that we can place an order we can place an order so after placing an order then we can take the payment or the do the payments of this order and before that we can add delivery details for the delivery purposes and we can uh, after that user will receive order status payment receipts delivery status all the things will be received by the user so that is the user side of this uh, this application uh, other side of this application is admin section so admin can search orders because most of the times admin is controlling the order and the delivery section so orders will be searched by the admin and update he can update and select orders and he can browse orders and things that he won't do after that he can uh, take the delivery details as well then he can check for the transaction details whether he did or not the payments are correct or not then after that he can uh, place the order and give the delivery details of the delivery person to this to deliver the certain customer that he ordered the food so that is the basic idea of this diagram and that is it for this video and thank you for watching.